हाउ टू राइट एब्सट्रैक्ट ऑफ अ रिसर्च पेपर और अ प्रोजेक्ट रिपोर्ट इज वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक इन दिस वीडियो इफ यू हैव नॉट सब्सक्राइब टू दिस चैनल kindly go ahead and subscribe to my channel learning with chand so in this video we are going to talk about six key things first we will talk about what is abstract and what is the importance of abstract then we will talk about the difference be- between abstract and introduction then we are going to talk about the characteristics of the abstract then we will talk about what to include in the abstract line by line or how to write the abstract then we will talk about the types of the abstract and then we will finally see some sample abstracts and try to break them down so that we can understand in which line the author has talked uh, about what so we will see some sample abstracts by the end of this video so as we all know the abstract word comes from a latin word name abstractum which means a condensed form of a long piece of writing so abstract is a short summary or a condensed form of your whole research paper i have i, I have explained these two things about what is an abstract and the importance of an abstract in my previous videos link you can find in the description about the difference be, uh, uh, between abstract and introduction also i have a detailed video for which you can find the link in the description below now come coming on to the main parts about the abstract the characteristics of the abstract so the content of an abstract varies it varies on the basis of specific discipline for which it is written and uh, but abstract shares several key features which are common to all of them the first it is a one well developed paragraph which is coherent and concise its length is about 100 to 100 words it is a summary summarization of all the content or the processes of the papers which includes the background purpose focus the ma- the methods results and conclusions of that paper so abstract is a summary of that whole paper where we have talked about the background the the purpose of why we had done that work the focus of that work the methods the results and the conclusions that we have got from that re- research work your abstract should state the research question or the hypothesis that you have used in that paper it should also state the purpose and the aim of the research paper in the abstract we use a simplified language for more general understanding in various publications such as journals the abstract is available at the beginning of the text while in academic papers or assignments it is placed on a separate page so when you talk about a research paper it will be available in the beginning of the text and while you talk about papers or assignments there it will be on a separate page in the abstract it is generally intended to use active voice wherever possible and it should and do not put a citation or abbreviation in the abstract now i am going to give you a step by step line by line way by which you can go ahead and write your abstract so in the lines 1 to 2 you have to write about the purpose of your work since every abstract should start by describing the main reason or aim of that re- of that research work such as what is importance of that research and why a reader should be interested in that work so in your line number 1 and 2 you have to write about the purpose of your work then in the line number 3 and 4 you have to talk about your research problem which you want to solve and what is the main argument thesis or claim of your work so in line number 1 and 2 you have to write the purpose 
and in line number 3 and 4 you have to write the problem of your research in the lines number 5 to 8 so you are going to give this part around 3 lines in in the next 3 lines you have to write your methodology write what method you have used to carry out your work if you have used any specific models or approaches you have to talk about that part in these three lines then you you can also explain or describe about the types of evidences that you have used in that research now after this after writing about your methodology in these three lines the next is when you have to talk about your results or findings in these two lines in some cases you may also discuss your findings in a more short or summarized way in these two lines so these 10 lines till now i have explained to you about how you will be writing your abstract line by line finally in the next two lines line number 11 to 12 you have to talk about the conclusions and and the implications of your work you have to give a short outline of the general outcomes of your work like how your research work adds to the knowledge or that topic and what would be the implications for future research work so by using this blueprint in 12 lines you can go ahead and write your abstract the last line of your abstract will be your keywords you along with the abstract you should have also mentioned specific keywords or phrases which are related to your topic in that research generally we are supposed to give five key keywords for every paper but you can confirm this through your journal guideline talking about the types of abstracts so there are two types of abstracts one is the informative abstract and the next is the descriptive abstract descriptive abstracts are generally used for humanities and social science papers it is usually short uh, about 50 to 100 words and the common parts of a descriptive abstract includes the background purpose the focus of the paper and overview or of the contents or con or conclusion this may always not be included now let's come to the second type of abstract that is informative abstract this abstract gen generally works as the substitute for the research pa pa papers as it summarizes whole of it and also it presents the key arguments and conclusions it is generally used for science in engine engineering or psychology sports here we use around 200 words and the main parts of informative abstract is background aim the methods used and the findings now we will have a look at some abstracts and we will try to understand how it is divided into various parts so first we will have a look at a descriptive abstract as you can see here is the example of a descriptive abstract in the first two lines the author has told about the background of the research pro 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 problem that free health camp is an important means to care to cater the health services to the needy people in underdeveloped country like nepal with difficult geographical terrain so here the author in this one line has talked about the background of that study now in this next lines objective of the study was to do this a total and everything all these things uh, of our the attendees respectively so in these lines in these highlighted lines the author has told about the purpose aim and the and the methods of this study like why that how they have did this work what was included in it all those parts have been explained in these two lines now in the last two lines the author in this last one line the author has explained the output or the findings of the research study 
so this is a descriptive abstract now let's have a look at the informative abstract this is a paper with an informative abstract here the abstract has been divided into various parts first is the introduction where 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 they have talked about the background then the then the methods then the results and then the conclusion such an abstract is called as an informative abstract now let's have a look at the humanities abstract so this is a paper related to humanities so if we will understand or if we will analyze the abstract of this then in this major part till here in this highlighted part the author has told about the main point of his research work about the main aim of his research work while in this next line still here was not the author has told about his thesis statement about what he wanted to do the work and in this last one line he has concluded his work with a conclusion so this is an e example of humanities abstract now let's have a look at the science abstract as you can see this is a scientific paper and this is its abstract right so in this first line the author has talked about the aim or the purpose of his research work then the author has talked about the method that he has used in order to do this re research work then the author presented the results of this work and finally the conclusion of this work conclusion or the importance of the work so this is an example of a science abstract so i hope this video has helped you you might have got an idea about how to write an abstract if you like this video please go ahead and like share and comment on this video and also subscribe to my channel learning with chandan thank you